Hey, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini, and in this video tutorial, I want to show you how quick and easy it is to make my Kendall Snap Pouch. It's great for storing your craft notions or even cards and cash. All right, so a quick overview of my Kendall Snap Pouch. This is so easy, it's gonna take you just a couple minutes to make. You can see that the samples I have here, this one was made out of cork fabric which works great for the project. But then today in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make it like these ones, which features a faux leather fabric. So you can basically make these out of any type of fabric that can be raw on the outside, the raw edge. It's not going to fray on you. That is what makes it such a quick and easy project. And then something that has enough body, right, to withstand being the full shape of the bag by itself. So this is the type of faux leather that we'll be working with. And uh, let's go over the supplies that you're gonna need because I have provided you with a free downloadable template. So to make the snap pouch we're going to be using my free downloadable template. There is a link below in the description box of this video for you where you can go so you uh, can follow the directions on how you can download this PDF. I've included a one inch square box here. This is just a guideline to make sure that your printer settings are set correctly. What you want to do is print out the sheet. You're going to set your printer to 100% scale to print and if you take a ruler and place one inch by one inch over top of this box it should measure exactly. All right if it's a little bit smaller or bigger it's not really going to affect too much this finished project but if you want to make it in the exact size that I designed it to be then you'll want to double check that one inch by one inch uh, square box measurement okay then you're just going to cut around the outside you can use a rotary cutter or some scissors and this is a template you're going to end up with so you'll need that you're also going to need the fabric that you want to use to make your little pouch I have a piece of black um, faux leather here and the sheets that we sell we've included a link in the description box below we sell these in assorted packs this measures eight and a quarter inches just about by 11 and three quarters and I designed the template so that you'll be able to make two pouches from every one sheet so super efficient and um, you can crank a ton of these out especially for gifts for the holidays and stuff like that so we have our template we have our faux leather or cork or whatever you want to end up using vinyl a good sturdy vinyl would work as well You'll need some thread. And then for the closure, I have used a plastic snap. You can use a metal one. You can, you know, get creative with the closures if you want. But if you're going to be doing a plastic snap like I am, make sure that you have your supplies. So I have the pliers. I have the awl that's going to help me make the hole. And then I have uh, the hot pink um, ends, right? The cap ends and the male and female ends of the snap that I want to install. So gather up all your supplies and your sewing machine. And let's jump right into making a Kendall snap pouch. Now for cutting out your template piece, I'm just going to place it on top of my fabric here. You can do it on the right side or the wrong side. If you don't feel comfortable using a rotary cutter to cut around the curved shapes, you can also feel free to use, say, like a white chalk marker in this case, and then go ahead and uh, trace around your template piece like that, and then you can remove it and just cut around it with scissors. For small and curved shape areas, I really like to use my uh, 28 millimeter Ulfa rotary cutter here, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna weigh down my template. These are just some big washers that I get at the hardware store, and I'm gonna place it right on top. You'll see that the template was designed to fit exactly the width of these sheets. Now, if you need some of these faux leather sheets, make sure you use the link I included for you below. You can shop with us in our online shop. Be careful going in and out of these areas. You don't wanna cut any further in to the pouch than you need to. All right, if you're gonna be making multiples of these, I would then at this point go ahead and just cut another one out of your remaining faux leather. But this is basically the full pouch. So I have it curved in here so that we don't have two separate pieces and we preserve the kind of smoothness and the, the one chunk of fabric that we have here. So as you can see, this is gonna get folded up like this and sewn here and here and then we just install the snap closure. So, super simple. Let's head over to the sewing machine because we're gonna place some clips first here. And what I want you to do is try to align everything as best as you can. With the curved edges, it can be a little tricky to cut it perfect. You can do that after you sew it. So you can clean things up a bit after we sew it because the faux leather or cork fabric can just stay raw on the edges. And that way, after we stitch this together, we can just kind of shape it up and make it look a little bit neater if we need to. For sewing this here, I am going to definitely backstitch at the beginning 
and at the end. So I'm not going to stitch all the way up. You can if you want to, but I'm just going to stitch here and back stitch, and then I'm going to come down, and right after I get past this curve into the folded area, I'll stitch maybe half to a three quarters of an inch there and back stitch as well. Then I'll jump over here, start off by back stitching, go around this curve and back stitch at this end also, and that's going to be plenty. Now, I'm going to be using some hot pink thread because I like the way that the contrast looks on the black. Obviously, if you don't sew very straight around curves or you want things to blend in, just choose a color that matches the fabric that you're using. Let's head over to the sewing machine and stitch this up. All right. So I'm just gonna use a straight stitch. This machine only does a basic straight stitch. If you have a machine that can do like a triple straight stitch and you're using a fun, funky color that you want it to pop a lot, that triple straight stitch will help your stitches pop more because it's a thicker buildup of thread as it creates the stitches. But just for this tutorial, we're gonna keep it real simple. Now the stitch length, uh, you may need to practice on a scrap piece to see if your machine will let you sew through the vinyl just or through the full leather over top of it just like this. Some machines may require you to either put tape under your presser foot, use a Teflon foot. There's a lot of different things and I have a video where I share with you my tips for sewing over clear vinyl and that will also help you with sewing over leather, faux leather and things like that. But I don't have an issue with any of that on this machine. So I'm gonna lengthen my stitch length to about three millimeters in length. I'm gonna take a couple stitches, back stitch to secure it. And then I'm gonna go nice and slow till I get to the curve, lift up my presser foot, and then I'm gonna carefully just feed this through so I can get around that curve. And the seam allowance here is only about an eighth of an inch. If you don't feel confident sewing straight, you can go a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch, and then after you stitch it, you can just trim it down. You just don't want too much bulk sticking out at the end there. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Back stitch. And that curve, just go nice and slow and stitch about another half inch in. Back stitch. And that's it. Let's install our snap so we can finish the pouch up. All right, so let's go ahead and trim our threads. Any little threads you have sticking out. Then at this point, I like to take the scissors and clean up around the curved edges. Sometimes, you know, the layers can move on you at the, at the machine. So on the back side here, I see that this is sticking out just a little bit. All right, so you can see here how this is off a little bit. I didn't have it held right in position for folding it. No big deal. Just clean it up. Obviously, make sure that you don't cut off your stitches because then you'll have to stitch again. Otherwise, you end up with just a hole. All right, and that's all you have to do. Just trim it up, clean it up, and do the same thing to the other side. Oh, I'm a little close here to my stitches, but that'll work. Okay, and double check it both on the front side and the back side, because sometimes it sticks out on one side and not on the other. All right, so that looks good. Now let's go ahead and prep our pieces and supplies that we need to install the snap closure. All right, so we need to find the center and about a quarter to a half of an inch down on the top here. So the center of the pouch, remember we said it measures about five inches, half of that is two and a half. So I'm gonna take a ruler and just measure two and a half on the edge here, two and a half. And so that is going to put the center at right about here. Okay, so I'm gonna come down about a half of an inch, three eighths of an inch or so right in here and make a mark. Then I'll take my awl and you're gonna poke a hole right through there to install the first part of the snap. Then I take an end cap, which is the side that has the little prong and then a smooth side on the back. And I'm going to insert it from the pretty side of the pouch because when it's closed, that's how you want it to look, okay? So insert it from there and then I'm just gonna place the male end of the snap here and push it down, hold it in place, take my snap pliers, center it and squeeze, that's installed. Now I will take that one, fold it shut, okay, and give it a good press. That will make an indentation on the opposite side so you don't have to remeasure. And the dent already disappeared. <laughs> it just like goes back to its regular um, type of fabric after. So once you press it, grab where you see that mark and I'm gonna put the all right through the center just make sure that when you're installing this that you're not installing it too far up here because if you do, it, you won't have enough fabric here to grab the opposite correspo corresponding part of the snap, okay? 
After you insert the hole, now it's backwards. The end cap goes to the inside and the female end of the snap needs to be facing up, right? Because this end needs to snap into here. So that's probably the trickiest part of installing snaps. Once you do a few pouches like this, you'll have it down. Take my pliers, install that end of it. And there you go. That is your finished Kendall snap pouch. So easy, so quick and they're gonna make great gifts, even for kids to carry money, even for you, if you don't, you know, you're going somewhere you can't carry a purse, just throw a couple cards in there, your ID, some cash, and you're good to go.